I'm Charlotte from Mishmash and today I'd like to talk to you about portals. A portal is something that when you touch it or go through it you're transported from here to another more magical place. In our show Strange Creatures, Flora, Sophie and I find three red hoops and when we go through them we're in another land. Like the red hoops, portals can come in many shapes and sizes, and one of my favourites is music. Music can transport us to so many different places. Um, it can change our mood, make us happy or excitable or sad or sleepy. Um, it can take us to different scenic places. We can see vistas, we can see different countries, maybe even places that no one else has ever seen before. Think of a song that you really enjoy listening to and maybe go and play it um, and notice how it makes you feel. And the great thing is that there's no right or wrong with this. How it makes you feel is special to you and no one else can change that. I asked my good friend Sophie to tell us a little bit about a piece that she really, really loves and the way in which it transports her. Hi, I'm Sophie from Mishmash. My favourite piece is actually a piece that we use in our show Smile. It's by Bach and it's called the Goldberg Variations. It's called Variations because he wrote a tune and then he wrote lots of variations on that tune. Some are fast, some are slow, they're all different characters. But it's really the tune that I really love. Um, it was originally written for keyboard, but we play it on our instruments. We also sing it and whistle it. And every time I hear it, it transports me to somewhere really calm. I think I'm generally not a very calm person, um, but this music makes me feel really calm. Um, at first I was thinking, oh, it's like it transports me to, you know, that feeling when you're lying down in a field and you've got sunlight and clouds overhead and everything's... But actually, there's also a real bit of sort of tinge of sadness in this music. And I think, actually, it's almost like it transports me into my own body, to, to my own heart, somewhere that's kind of inside rather than outside. Anyway, I hope you like it too. Um, lots of people have favourite pieces of music and I think lots of people also feel things when they listen to music and we asked Alexis Deacon, who draws and writes Bigu, who we use in, uh, in our other show, Strange Creatures, if he would listen to some music from one of our shows, Hubbub, and if he would draw along to it and show what he thinks that Bigu is feeling as she listens to the music.
I can't believe how well you timed that. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I, I hadn't expected to time it quite so well with the music. <laughs> it was a miracle. <laughs> I was like, when I finished Bigo, I thought, I'm just going to listen for a sec, because this sounds like it might be ending. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for doing that, Alexis. That's fantastic. Uh, no problem. No problem at all. Lovely to see Bigo there, having so much fun with that mischievous piece of music. Well, I'm really happy to be here with you today, because it means that I get to share with you some of my favourite music. I've compiled a list of some pieces that I absolutely love and they're all very different and I've included the list at the end of the podcast with also lists of all the music that you can find in our shows. I'd say pick something and find a quiet moment to either sit or maybe even lie and try closing your eyes and just tuning into the music and see where it transports you.